In this video, we're going to take a look at getting started with Revoice Pro 5 when using Logic Pro. If you're looking for more feature-specific, in-depth tutorials, these can be found on our website. Let's get started. So let's have a quick listen to the track that we're going to be working with. Okay, so on the whole, great performance. That being said, I do want to make some changes to both the tuning and the timing. So we're going to do that using the AU ARA version of Revoice Pro Link. So I've got both tracks highlighted over here. I'm going to head over to the audio effects and let's scroll down to audio units and under synchro arts, we are going to use Revoice Pro Link AU ARA mono. So first things first, let's start Revoice Pro and then we are going to capture the audio. So now let's click show Revoice Pro. And as you can see, both tracks have been captured automatically into the Revoice Pro session. So first things first, we're going to tune this lead vocal. I'm going to solo this out and also let's go full screen. We'll zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna right click and let's choose adjust pitch timing and level. This will allow us to make adjustments to both the timing and the pitch. Now there's a number of different ways that we can approach tuning when working from within Revoice Pro. One really quick and easy way is using Alter Option W, which will automatically tune the sunk performance to 100%. And this is, of course, based on a chromatic grid. That being said, I do want to take a look at some basic editing functions. So in order to do that, we're going to take a look at one of these pitch blocks. If we highlight one of these pitch blocks, you'll notice these different control points that we have. If we hover down to the bottom right, we have the ability to dial the tuning from 0 to 100%. If we hover in the bottom left, we can adjust the drift. You can see the pitch trace moving in real time. In addition, if we wanted to make any level changes, this is something that we can do by simply click holding and dragging. So if you need to adjust any of these pitch blocks on a case by case basis, we can do that. Also, if you hover your cursor at the very top, we have the ability to essentially flatten out the pitch trace. So this would give you something more synthetic or artificial sounding. And conversely, we can do the opposite by increasing. We can actually exaggerate the pitch trace. We can also click, hold, and drag to make manual adjustments. And at any given point, we can right click and choose the reset selected notes, and we can reset all changes in one single click. That being said, the approach that I'm gonna take with this performance is I'm going to use the Command A to select everything. I'm gonna right click and let's choose the center notes tool. This gives us a percentage slider and we have the ability to dial up the whole entire performance. We can tune to an exact percentage and you can see things are shifting in real time. So the idea here is that I wanna get something that kind of works for everything across the board. Let's right click, we will choose our selector tool and let's have a listen to these changes. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You again. Guess I need somebody, body like. Okay, I noticed an issue over here. Let's go ahead and take care of that. This pitch right over here, I'm going to right click and let's choose the cutter tool and I'm going to make a little split right over here. Now we're going to right click again, go back to the selector tool, and a double click will snap these both to 100%. Let's continue listening. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You again. Okay, so for sake of demonstration, we're going to say that I'm happy with that. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and let's pop out of solo mode. And I'm going to choose tracks and I'm going to auto size track heights. This just helps maximize screen real estate a little bit. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is because we've got the tuning and timing sorted for this main vocal, let's use the B key to call up the new process panel and I'm going to choose a match process which allows us to match the timing, pitch, or the level. Now we're gonna choose the selected audio. In terms of presets, I'm gonna to navigate to a recently used preset and then the tracks have already been added. We have our lead vox female, which is our guide, and we have our lead vox male, which is our dub. So let's create a new process. We'll close down this window. And now if we hop back into the logic timeline, we'll be able to preview those results instantly. And just as a reminder of where we started. Again. 
Okay, so quite a significant improvement. Now, the next thing that I want to do is actually render these changes into the audio regions themselves. And in order to do this, we're going to use Bounce in Place. So let's hover over to Bounce in Place. In terms of destination, I'm going to put these on a new track, and let's leave and mute these source tracks. We'll do the first one over here, and now we'll go to the second region. Again, we are going to Bounce in Place, same settings. Now the original tracks, I no longer need these, so let's power down Revoice Pro, and let's actually hide these. We might need them at a later date, but for now, we don't need to see them. Now one last thing that's coming to mind is I'd actually like to go back into the Revoice Pro session for a moment, and I want to create a stereo double over one specific section. So let's just scroll into view over here. If we take a listen to this section over here, again, I think it could benefit from having a stereo double on this last word. So let's click the B key to call up the new process panel again, but this time instead of match timing pitch or level, we are going to click a doubler process. Now, instead of the selected audio, I only want a very specific section, so let's highlight across here, and you can see that that's changed the input start and end to the selected playback range. In terms of presets, I always like working with the stereo vocal mild preset. Our input is our lead vox female, and let's go ahead and create a new process. So now if we listen to the three of these together. Again. Perfect. Now the last thing that we need to do is we need to get this stereo vocal spotted back into the logic timeline. And in order to do that, I'm going to hold down shift and option, and we will click, hold and drag and drop this directly into the logic timeline. And now you can see that this has been dropped off here, but it's not in the right location. So in order to move that to the right location, we are going to right click and let's move to recorded position. So now this is happening exactly where it's supposed to. And if we take a listen to all three of these together. Again. So now let's take a listen to everything in context with each other. So that's using Revoice Pro 5 with Logic Pro. More in-depth tutorials on these features and more can be found on our website. Thanks for watching.